channel. So hello there and welcome back to my uh, Creator Club series here with the Espresso Cats and yeah, today we meet Chesterfield as we said last episode we would do mostly the FA Cup here so yeah. And uh, we've gone through a little bit matches here, not too much has happened. Um I can't remember, did we play this on screen, Townsworth? I can't we might have done it, but uh well we lost at least. <laughs> I will not go through much more there. Uh south because I can't remember <laughs> basically just uh we won against Southport Way. One nil here, very nice victory. Uh, Kingsley in Shuin, or whatever he's called, uh, scored again. He's, <laughs> he's probably one of our top scorers now, so that's very nice to see. Here, Kingsley there scored a goal for us, and then we have Crucian Ashton, which is a button team. So I was like, we better fuck freaking win this because they are awful. At least in p possession. So we scored four goals here at home. And then we won the... Let me just show you the highlights here. I don't know if this... Or the goals at least. I don't know if uh, <laughs> all the goals are real that exciting. As, as you can see as well. I have new glasses as well. Because I thought it was time for that also. This is what I hate with the new fo or football manager 2018 as well. Why do they show so freaking long highlights? We don't have to see the full game or whatever. Uh, yeah, there. Daniel Maldini scored the first goal uh, from us from Griffiths. I mean, why didn't you show just Griffiths pass? There were at least two passes before, not the totally full game. It's like they're showing two highlights at the same time. Hatfield, Smith, Daniel Maldini. And there's one. Yep. Okay, there we have a free kick there. And then we won one nail against uh, uh, Christian Ashton away. Uh, Reese Fielding scored again. He's in goal scoring form. Uh, as you can see here, with a heading there instead. So yeah, uh, three victories in the row in the league. In, or we had one lo loss there, but elsewhere, pretty good, I believe. I might actually show you the table here. We are eight, or we are nine, but we are only two points up to York there. Maybe they had draw since then. <laughs> Maybe it was that, but well. So we meet uh, Chesterfield, I believe we have not made too many. We might have signed some new players or changed the contract, but still, yeah, as you can see, uh, Risa is probably not going to be able to sign a new contract. The same with Veslovsky, Christian Maldini as well there. Uh, Magnus Norman, we are hoping that he could at least sign here. I know it's a lot, but at least it's half. Of his wages that they had before, so well, what can we do? Uh, Kingsley, I want to keep an yeah, Gillingham's contract this goes out, so when I can, I will try to sign him, especially since we lose some many player. Cartwright has also Scott Smith, I might also sign here, not because he is the best uh, central midfielder, but. We are desperate. We need central midfielder, and especially if we are going to lose Veslovsky, and then we just have free <laughs> central midfielder. So we probably can find better uh, players on the transfers that doesn't cost that much or whatever. Oh, damn! I got this. contract is. I think I got a new contract at least because I think I was not on this much money, or maybe I haven't. I don't know. I believe I got the new contract well, and as you can see, all my <laughs> stats are really poor. I just thought youngster knowledge might be good because we're probably developing a lot of youngsters, but elsewhere, as you can see, ones and twos, and oh great, in t two years we will be two 
0.5 million in depth. Well, let's keep this FA Cup run going then, so we at least can make the predictions a little bit better. So, I believe I, I've just played up to this part and just decided which one to go for here. Or will we make any changes? Lewis Blackshaw has took the position from... Um, what does he call Risa? He's been way better as you can see now. He scored one goal as well. So Griffiths and Hatfield and Smith here. When they might not control it's after all a team that is a League One team here. Uh, you need to change that because he doesn't work that great there. So Daniel Maldini uh, is a attacking midfielder. And the striker, we have Stevens and Swan. Stevens has not played super much, but well, let's give him a chance to shine. And Swan, as you can see, has scored a lot of goals, but mostly as a uh, midfielder. As you think, we have Kingsley on the bench if, if we need to. And Reese Griffiths is the best, um, it's called the best. Uh, Passer there with seven assists, so yeah, they have one injury there. Strong and fair, and let's see, they are 15 cities. So I believe the, uh, when I checked before, they were 20th, so they have actually done way better now. That That is a very interesting <laughs> lineup, at least. And then, but I did not see any players that I really know of. I don't know if that's good or bad or whatever. But I guess we will see. And we will also... I might just uh, record this episode. We, we will see how long this match will be. Maybe, maybe we even get to play a uh, uh, re re replay here. I guess we will see. There are some seats. Why are there some seats still not taken? That's bad. We, I mean, we play against the uh, League One team, or maybe uh, maybe everyone is so pessimistic. Every <laughs> Espresso Cat fan is just so pessimistic. So they just you will never win this. There's no point of even going to the arena. A lot of away fans though, Blue Chesterfield fans. That's interesting to see. Flores? Is that Flora Flores? I don't believe in that. So. Just lump it away. That's the way to go in this game, probably. I probably can't play super fancy. Ooh! How was that not the goal? I'm c kind of. What to call it? I'm kind of surprised. And thrilled that there wasn't a goal there. That definitely looked like a sequence which would have been a goal. They dominate in possession. Oh, we are at least getting a little bit more ball here. But so far not too bad. They have not had Superman channels. Griffiths with the corner here. Fielding. Griffiths can win it back. Oh, oh great there. Great homework. Um... Great to win ball back the ball there. Down Maldini. Oh, this <laughs> that was brilliant stuff there. Now we have to defend here. Good Atkinson. Ma Who was that ball for? Sure, you can do fancy tricks in Italy, but not here. Stevens. Oh, hits the bar. It's the crossbar. <sighs> oh, great there, Blackshaw. Oh. Great defending of us, actually. We we might get into some struggling positions here, or really yeah, lose the ball and have a chance to counter. But some of the players really cover up well, like Blackshaw and the Griffiths there. So great to see, and as you can see as well, A Atkinson had the very intercept or pass the ball uh, forward. So yeah, so far so good. We don't have that. We don't have many players that would actually. I said we had some players maybe for Lee Chu like Rob Atkinson, but he's probably going to be super old once we get there. But 
elsewhere they're not there's some that they're clubs we have loan in car coffer right for example he he is from petersburg but still he would never really be good enough to start in the, their squad or whatever unfortunately the midfield has not been great steam is, is not even either owen james i will offensively we not been superb so far defensively we've been really solid uh Unfortunately, we can't really, as you can see, yeah, the midfield has not been superb, but we can't really take in super many other. I thought this would be an issue not having Veslovsky here, but it seems still that we don't get too many shots. We had that chance where I was on the goal line or whatever, where I don't, I'm not sure that it was on the goal line, but almost was on the goal line at least. I'm surprised because now it's the possession is even. I thought I thought they would just. I mean, it's still they are the League One team. We are Vanarama North team. I know he's a good player, mostly here in Football Manager. Let's actually take uh, Dani Madlini off. He has not make, make the greatest decision for today. Let's take you in Kingsley because he knows we might need a target man here. Um, so let's do that. And oh, I forgot that. God damn it. Now he's probably going to score just because of that. Okay, go on. Because I'm scared. I can't remember where he's from from the beginning. I might have just check here. Diego Guillermo, but I remember him. York. Oh, yeah, he's a product from Sheffield United. I've seen him in some other same where people have played in England. Griffiths. Fielding. Hatfield. And we are through. Probably. Hopefully. <laughs> probably. Hopefully. Uh, to the next round here uh, or we shouldn't say too much they are still a league one team so oh and here they get the corner Gilermo oh wow that was a shot if something <laughs> that could have been a brilliant goal in fact so I I think we will see also the draw if we not manage to bottle <laughs> chop this the problem is we we have no central midfield. It is probably going to be my main target for um, the summer window to at least get in some central defender. But because so far we have four, and that's not good enough. We have a lot of strikers and pretty decent amount of defenders. And there, when I talk about other stuff, they have uh, goal. They are have um, equalized here, but we still could. Uh, I don't know if we would win away. At least, at least, at least, if we go through here, we at least, <laughs> at least, will be nice because we will at least got get to see who we might play if we get them out. Uh, uh, yes, um, Fielding has been the best player. Uh, Definitely, but he was so tired as well, and he had the yellow card, and yeah, we don't want to get him suspended or anything. Don't, as a underdog, to actually play away, but it's not the greatest, or the greatest, we're probably, we we'll probably still get money for it, and we, we, <sighs> This might be a little bit long, but we I will still probably be back for the other game here. And we we'll just rest some players because we probably need it since we have the match against Benamore. I'm probably still, yeah, show you that today because we might not win against uh, Benamore now since we 
Uh, it seems we have oh, 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 a lot of Premier League teams still left in. Mostly as Premier League team actually. <laughs> and some championship team. Would be surprising if we are the only non-league team. It's always fun to be that okay, championship team. We will get a really cool team if we go through here. Port Wayne. Oh, I thought it was us because I stopped or whatever. So Port Wayne is still in, but they are still a league team or a professional team. We might be the only semi professional team left. Okay, yeah. It's really exciting, actually. We are the only. Yeah, everyone else. Uh, Chesterfield. Oh, sorry. I said they were League One. I thought they were League One. Um. Are League Two and Port Whale are who did Port Whale when they got the release? It's Guntor, <laughs> especially with this poor season run. I was kind of impressed of them. I did not even see who we got to meet. Chelsea. Well, if we win that, I don't. We might. We we might win the FA Cup if we win that match. Because then we just have one, uh, after the or uh, after the fourth round we just have one two one two three four. Okay, uh, I'm. Can you see how much money you get for every single game here? Okay, the price money is seventy five. It's still hundred. Okay, and I'm just. I'm just Oh wow, if we go to the fifth round, it's... and here here we even get money for losing, so semi-final would be great, but I, I don't expect it, but can we go to sixth round maybe? Quarterfinals, or at least fifth round? It would, be, it would be amazing if we managed to just defeat Chelsea. They're probably still going to play with just youth players or whatever. But first we have to do our job against Chesterfield. So yeah. So I'll be back soon again with the mass the replay against Chesterfield. Hello and welcome back to uh, the game here against Chesterfield in the FA Cup. And yeah, we are back here for the Second match uh, or the replay basically just uh, we managed to win against uh, Spanimore. I will not talk too much about that. Uh, we rested some players, which was actually dumb of me. It was eight days to the playoff here, so no point on that. But Owen James scored a hat trick, so superb right now but it could be really talented or whatever so yeah and elsewhere yeah f five now i was surprised that we won <laughs> with so big numbers but oh well and uh, nice to see there and we have, uh, make some changes we will play the away tactic of course here against chesterfield uh favorite position is after all striker and then we have uh, Kingsley up top again and uh, they are so disappointed why are you disappointed I mean we could match them pretty good we sh would have won the match if we wouldn't have conceded that late goal we're leading the game side so don't understand that but um, the FA Cup I don't know we might we might just get smashed here. I don't know. I guess we will just see Griffiths. Uh, Hatfield and he scores. It was on the crossbar, but it went uh, through the line there. So very nice corner. Hatfield with a very good header there. Very hard header. So yeah, it would be lovely if we meet shells as well. Okay, I, I don't expect us to win the FA Cup. That would be just surreal. But if we are the only team from... Um, besides championship team uh, left, we will not be in this. But I believe, and we might check after this, we win this, how many... 
like League One and League Two teams that are left. I believe there are not super many, it's like a handful or whatever. The problem is they can probably. They don't. I should have been done 2D, but well. 3D, I guess. If if we can't see the goal, I will change to 2D. Maybe. Uh, Catlet. Oh, Flores. Okay, we will change to 2D because it seems like 3D is not our. We might have penalties. We might have extra time. It might be a super long. I hope you enjoy it still. Oh, Kingsley. What a great chance for you dude. I feel like you should have done a little bit be better maybe can we get the good corner again scoring a co uh, corner again that would be nice Atkinson oh, we are brilliant at corner I don't know if it because I've not done anything specific about corners just uh, um, yeah, I don't know if the, the essay f just fixed it I feel like we have that many good corner takers or whatever or it might just be going to 2D, that's the thing. I don't know. We play counter now, maybe it's awful of me, but... I feel like we have some players in control. Ah, fuck. Why? Why? I don't see why that would be a penalty. And then surely it would have gotten a yellow card, but no, apparently not. Oh well. Oh greedy, oh greedy. Uh, score here. A little bit scary there still. Uh, pretty close game still. 50 50 in possession. Shots on targets 5 6. Calf rep. He loses possession. He wins back position in his losing possession. Well, what what is it? Is he... Or is he losing possession and then win it back for himself? Yeah, Veslovsky is not suspended anymore, so... Might go to structures and the standard again. Because I don't feel like going that defensive, especially now since it is a draw. I still want to try to create chances, even if we might get some chance. Even if we lose this, oh, that's not great. And we don't have anyone there. I guess we will issue. Oh, hopefully Hatfield is not like injured for the full season. One might need to take in one fielder. Oh, but still. I Getting this to uh, replay. Yeah, there was no freaking team in the draw, so still we are the best team from semi professional football to go this far and to go to playoff. <sighs> Showing the match, it's not like we have created less than them. So I feel like at least we deserve extra time here. I feel in the first match we were actually even better than them, but here well, we need to create something here in the end. Ugh, 16 shots. Please, Norman, up with the ball here. Kingsley, do it. Do it for us. Oh, Reed. Diego Gilermo. Fielding. It would be interesting to see how much extra time it is as well. Can we win back the ball here? No. It's just just a feel here, unfortunately. Extra time just ticks away. It's, I feel like it's a little bit unrealistic in that way. Sometimes it actually happens stuff on uh, extra time. Okay, it happens sometimes the football manager, but it happens too less of times I mean it would even make more sense if they actually score a goal on extra tire or you know in added time here but no no and that, that's just typical football manager for you nothing happening in added time but we 
did give give it all, and that's that's great. We couldn't have done anything else because they probably still have better plays. Oh um, yeah. So I guess we have to take in another <laughs> in, uh, midfielder because Hatfield is injured for five to seven. It's been more. We are actually seven in the league as well, so. Hopefully we can keep it up and keep the run going. We might actually, I might actually play a lot of matches until next match here because I feel like I want to do that as well. So we might actually play all these matches up to uh, United and then we'll probably have the last game at home and then we will have the playoff if we manage to get the third so it probably still will be a real tough game so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that um we were so close of getting to meet chelsea in the fa cup but well it would have even been a little bit unrealistic since we're playing in the lowest possible league. But oh well. Thank you all for watching. Have a good tea and a good coffee day. And let's see you soon again. So bye.